Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a piece of software called DAT TV Express. Now this software can connect to an add-on Pluto or Lime SDR and convert it into a video transmitter. So I'm literally using here, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, DAT TV Express software uh, that's connected to my add-on Pluto and we're transmitting a video signal on 1.2 gigahertz. Now the video feed that you can see there and the audio that you can hear is being received via an air spy receiver in quite close proximity to the Adam Pluto and the software is set to 1.2 gigahertz as well for receiving. Now SDR Angel has a DAT TV demodulator and this you can see there on the screen that is me live now and waving to the camera. So let's first take a look at DAT TV Express and see how that we configure it on the computer so that it starts transmitting. So once you have DAT TV Express installed, you'll obviously need a video source and an audio source. So a webcam and a microphone connected to your computer will be sufficient. Now the first thing that we need to do will be to set the TX frequency. So navigate to the modulator tab and then select common. Here we can set the TX frequency. Here mine is set to 1.255 gigahertz. We also need to set the TX symbol rate. This will affect quality. I would also recommend starting off with a value of 333,000. And once you have that working, you can increase this value to get better video quality. Now the TX mode I used for this example was DVB-S2 and the SDR hardware I used for transmit was the add-on Pluto. There are options, however, to use a Lime SDR or even the official DAT TV Express hardware. But once you've got all these set, simply click apply and then click OK. Now the next set of settings we need to check are found under modulator tab and then DVB-S2. The constellation used was QPSK, the roll off is 0 0.2, frame type normal and FEC is 2 slash 3. Again, these settings can be adjusted to suit your needs, but these are the settings which worked well for my initial test. If we then select options and then on air format, we can now choose the transmitted video format. Essentially, this is the size of the video. So here I have it set for 1080 at 30 frames per second. Now, as this is a digital video transmission, we can also embed some text data. So from the SI tables drop down, select settings. Here you can enter some text which will show on the receiver. I've just used my call sign and some demo text for the example. Now I would suggest that you leave all the PID values to default unless you know what they do. We now need to tell DAT TV Express what to use as a video source. So from the source tab, select live and then select video. You can select your webcam here and also choose a supported device format. If you choose a device format and the PTT button on the main screen is not enabled, then come back to this screen and choose another format. Now the last setting we need to make is to tell DAT TV which device to use as an audio source. Now this is the audio that will be transmitted along with your video. So from source, select live and then audio. From the drop down, select your microphone or audio device and then click OK. Now you should be able to press the PTT button. But please note that the first time you press the PTT button after making setting changes, it will not go straight into transmit, but it will save the settings to a configuration file. You then have to press the PTT again, and if successful, you should see a transmit message appear above the PTT button, which indicates you are now transmitting. Now also on this screen, you can see an overview of the settings. This makes it nice and easy when we're setting up the receiving software, which we'll go through now. Now the receiving software that I'll be using is called SDR Angel and the SDR receiver that I'll be using is the Air Spy Mini. Now once everything is plugged in, start SDR Angel and select the Air Spy device or whichever one you're using by clicking on the little icon on the top left and then from the drop down box select your SDR receiver. Also on the top left is the frequency SDR Angel will receive at. Now make sure this is the same as the DAT TV Express software. If you then click the play button, you should now be able to see a signal present in the waterfall. What we now need to do is add the DAT TV demodulator. So click the little icon at the top next to where it says channels. 
Then select the DAT TV demodulator from the drop down and click apply. You will now notice that the DAT TV demodulator has loaded on the right side pane. Here we can make sure the settings are the same as the DAT TV Express software. You may also need to adjust the bandwidth that DAT TV demodulator is using. Simply adjust the slider until the purple line is covering the transmission in the center of the waterfall. So if you use the same settings as I did on DAT TV Express, then set the mode to DVB-S2, Constellation to QPSK, symbol rate to 800,000 or 333,000 if you're starting off with a low value and then make sure that SVC is set to two stroke three. Now, if the demodulator is working correctly, you can now click the video feed tab and voila, you should now see the video that you're sending from the DAT TV Express software. Also, you should be able to hear the audio. Well, there we go, guys, a brief overview of how to use DAT TV Express software and how to configure SDR Angel to receive those DAT TV signals. Now, please remember that you can only transmit on bands in which you personally have a license for. Now, I myself hold an amateur radio license and I'm allowed to transmit on these frequencies here in the UK. It's your responsibility to check your local laws. Now, until the next video, thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.